Hi everybody, I'm Dutch, and today I would like to show how to install a, an underquilt onto the chameleon hammock. This is a Cedar Ridge underquilt. Um, so, on the Cedar Ridge underquilt, they always put their tag on the head end, so we know this, uh, this is going to be the head end for the chameleon hammock with the vent. And when you purchase the Cedar Ridge underquilt from us, we install uh, these are quilt hangers, and I'll show you in a little bit later how to use the Ridgeline quilt hooks, but they come included. And I'm first going to set it up beside. This, this quilt is brand new, and it has never been installed onto a hammock, so it will, uh, I'll be showing how to make all those adjustments. So it simply goes onto the amp steel that is connected to your cinch buckle. I'm going to be setting it up beside right now. So this uses a secondary and a primary suspension. The primary suspension on this one is a 1 8 shock cord and it's going to run through this channel. And basically, it's one big loop that runs from one hanger all the way around and back again. And its job is to lift this quilt up. Now, if that's all you had, when you set into the underquilt, watch this. You get into the hammock, the underquilt would come down, and then it would come back up. And you see how this is getting scrunched up? You can imagine that shock cord expanding and then retracting, and when it retracts, you get this like accordion effect that happens to the underquilt, and then it doesn't stay as snug up against your bottom. So, to combat that, what Cedar Ridge does is they add these line locks on the corners, and these attach to the ends, and you can pull them and it, and it makes it so that it will pull the quilt outward. Now, when I set up this quilt, I don't do this completely evenly because I want the quilt to be skewed on the hammock because I'm going to lay on the diagonal. On this particular one, I'm going to sleep with my head right and my feet left. So when I pull these out, I want to pull the side that my head's going to be on, I want to pull that one a little bit harder. Down here at the foot, because my foot's going to be coming out this way, I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to pull this one a little bit harder and let this one be a little bit looser. And that way, you got a little bit more slack and it keeps it onto your feet. And over here, it'll keep it better onto your shoulder. So, when I place the hammock in there, now I could have tie-ups on here. I'm not going to have them for this, but um, they won't interfere with, with the quilt. On the chameleon are two sets of these hooks, and these hooks um, help hold the quilt in place. So, they want, you want to connect them to the primary suspension, which is the one that runs through the channel. On well, this one, it is the thicker one. And I like to set that up on all four of them. Sometimes, if I find that a hammock needs to be a little bit more skewed, or I'm sorry, the quilt needs to be a little bit more skewed, such as I want my head to be over here, I can actually let this one out and that way it keeps this, it keeps it so that it pulls a little bit more towards the head. Same thing for the feet. I would keep this one on and I would disengage that one. Um, however, for the most part, I like to just keep all four on. So, 
So this made that if there's going to be a three quarter under quilt, you can use these different hooks and put it at different places. And you can even, if you wanted to use, make it even more secure, you can click this and it will not hurt anything through the shock cord and that will hold that on there. For the next step, I want to have the hammock uh, loaded up with a person. Um, preferably me and somebody else could do this uh, because people are different heights and different weights. Um, but in this case, we're going to be setting this up for somebody else. There is a cord lock and there's a shock cord that runs down through the length. When you first purchase it, it's fully open. And um, this person, if it was cold at night, they're going to get full air coming in here and we need to close these up. So on either side, and then you can do both sides if you want to keep it even, but we want to pull this in and pull this in and you want to take it not just a little bit past what makes it snug. And see that that closes up all the air gaps and that makes it so that when they move around, there's not going to be a little bit of an air gap there. I might bring in just a little bit more, just get a little bit too snug there. If you go and you pull that too much, um, you're actually going to make it so that the center down here um, might start causing a gap down there. It's also going to keep it off your shoulder and it's going to fall off. So it's real important that you go and you set this just so it tightens it up. And then, like I said, just go a little bit more so you get a little bit less elasticity in there and it, uh, and it will prevent causing an air gap if you move around a little bit. We're also going to do that on the foot side. The procedure is exactly the same. As you can see here, there's a big air gap there. And we want to pull that until that's tight. One more thing is we include on the primary suspension. This is a ridgeline quilt hook. We put um, both of the hardware on one side will be white. The other is black. That way you can tell the difference um, between your head and your foot really easily at nighttime. But these things are really sweet, and this is what they do. You take this side, and you put this side, and you just put it up on your ridge line. Now, instead of this quilt pulling out to the feet, it's now pulling up towards the ridge line. We can also do that on the head end. You just bring this up to here. And you put that hook on there and you can see that little bit makes a big difference on the direction the quilt is being pulled up and keeps you snug up around you. If you put it too far this way, when you get in naturally, it's going to just slide and it's going to move out a little bit. But it's going to wind up being a good 10 inches to, to a foot away from the end of your suspension. But it completely changes the direction in which that under quilt is pulling. This under quilt should now be set pretty much perfect. Thank you, everybody.